Welcome to one of the fastest growing sports YouTube channels out there, Gold and Blue Dude. I don't know exactly what they're telling their recruits this year, but West Virginia is recruiting at a high level, and the recruits that they're getting are trying to recruit at a high level. Let's go! Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's me again, Golden Blue Dude. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. I do college football videos every single day. While you're here, go check out my good friends at TriStateWoodSketch.com. All you have to do is send them a picture, and they'll transfer it onto wood. Great gift for anybody. And if you mention Golden Blue Dude, you'll get 20% off. Right now, West Virginia is recruiting on a top 20 recruiting class. So whatever recruiting pitch that they're using in Morgantown, it's working. Now, on top of that, these kids are so bought in, they're trying to help the coaching staff recruit. One of the players on West Virginia's radar is Wesley Bassaint. He's a four-star linebacker. And right now, he is leaning towards Miami. But some West Virginia recruits are starting to get in the recruiting action. They're actually trying to help West Virginia and the coaching staff recruit this kid. Raleigh Collins III, Jacoby Spells, that's a big name, and then a recent big four-star, Trey Lathan, are trying to recruit Wesley Bisthank to West Virginia. Hey, and listen, West Virginia already beat Miami in recruiting when we got Jacoby Spells. So we're in the same exact scenario with Wesley Bisthank. And people gotta realize that these kids played together. They grew up together and sometimes played against each other. This is a pretty strong recruiting tool for West Virginia. I'm really impressed with these recruits reaching out trying to get Wesley Bisthank. And who knows, it could actually pay dividends for West Virginia. Even if we don't get Wesley Bisthank, at least we know these kids are 100% bought in. I mean, for them to do something like this, they are convinced they are at the right place in West Virginia. And trust me, if West Virginia was in any type of danger of being left out of a Power 5 conference after the realignment, these kids, number one, they wouldn't be here. Number two, they definitely wouldn't be helping West Virginia recruit. So that tells you that the coaches are passing along information that the rest of us don't really know. Well... I do. Neil Brown is changing the culture in Morgantown. Not only is he recruiting at a high level at West Virginia, he's got his recruits believing in West Virginia so much that they're recruiting as well. Amazing stuff going on in Morgantown. That's all I got for you for this show. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on my next show.